I was looking through some of my old copywriting books the other day in search of a little inspiration for a sales letter I was working on. But in the process, I ended up stumbling on something even more powerful. And what I discovered will teach you one of the most important lessons about copywriting I think you'll ever come across. Secrets that made me question everything I thought I knew about writing effective copy and forced me to deep dive into dozens of books, hundreds of swipe files, and thousands of words of copy in order to confirm if what I found was true and to see if there were any more clues or patterns or phrases that all the best copywriters in the world used and swore by. Techniques that helped make them richer than they could have ever even imagined. And I couldn't believe it when I discovered that they did. All of them used the same hacks every time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what those hacks were, how you can use them in your copy, and how to use them to grow any business that you apply them to. But to fully understand the power of these techniques, I need to tell you a story about just how badly things can go when you don't take this seriously. In December of 1911 and January of 1912, two explorers set out to conquer what had previously never been done to be the first person to reach the South Pole. While both eventually succeeded in reaching the South Pole, the two explorers experienced wildly different outcomes on their return journeys back to the safety of base camp. The first, Roald Amundsen, a Norwegian explorer, succeeded. The second, Robert Falcon Scott, a British naval officer, died tragically, along with five other members of his team. Both men were equally capable equally equipped and equally experienced. On paper, they each had an even chance to accomplish their goals and survive. So what happened? Why did one succeed and the other fail? And more importantly, what does this have to do with copywriting and marketing and making more sales? The answer to this question and the secret behind our explorer's success and failure, as well as your future success or failure as a copywriter, can be found in the following word, sequence. In any given situation, there are a number of things that need to be done in order to accomplish the goal. In the case of our explorers, both had a strategy to place depots to restock supplies along their path, but only Amundsen ensured they were placed in the right sequence and were as easy to find as possible, as well as stocked with sufficient supplies. If we look at a copywriting or direct response marketing campaign, for example, well, the first thing you need to do is determine exactly what you're trying to promote. From there, you need to decide what kind of customers you want to attract or what target segment to go after. Then it's time to figure out the message. This part is incredibly important, so that's what the rest of this video is about. Because it's here that you're going to lay out the specifics around the offer and messaging that will allow you to clearly communicate the value that you're offering and why someone should care enough to actually take action. But simply knowing what the steps are isn't enough. You need to know the right order and the right sequence that they go in. Like baking a cake, things need to be done in the right order, otherwise you just end up frosting an empty cake pan or serving your friends a raw, uncooked puddle of cake soup. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna eat that. And this is why the next thing I need to show you is why you must always write your first draft on sticky notes. In the world of copywriting and direct response marketing, there is perhaps no bigger name than Agora a truly fascinating and polarizing billion dollar publishing company that generates anywhere from 20 to $50 million a week through the sale of its newsletters, books, and information products. And one of Agora's most valuable copywriting secrets was shared in a little known and hard to find book called The Secret Copyboarding System, a system I've used for years now and that has indeed held up to its promise of helping me to write copy that's generated millions of dollars in sales. And I found this technique to be useful not just for sales letters, but also emails, social media posts, sales pages, webinars, pretty much anything else you can think of. The best part is that it gives you a structured and streamlined system to follow, ensuring that you present your idea well, with one convincing argument leading perfectly into the next. So here's how it works. The first step is to come up with your big idea. This is what makes your offer different, unique, special. For example, I'm not just telling you a copywriting technique here, I'm sharing with you a multi-million dollar fill in the blank outline. Step two is to do an objection audit. This is where you wanna list out on sticky notes all of the possible objections someone might have against the claim or the big idea that you're making. The big ones here are typically something like, why should I listen to you? And what's in it for me? Does this actually work? How are you any better than your competition? And why should I act now? But don't stop there. Try to list out as many objections as possible. Step three is to then organize these objections in the order that a customer is likely to experience them from start to finish. For example, if your big idea is the claim that you just discovered a revolutionary new system that's allowing business owners to generate 300 new leads for just $1 a day, then the first objection is likely to be something like, that's not possible, or that sounds like too much work. The next objection from there could be, okay, but why don't I just do XYZ instead? 
And from there, all kinds of other objections could arise. Like, it sounds like too much work and the infamous sales killer, okay, but I'm too busy right now. The power and importance of writing these all out on sticky notes cannot be overstated here, as it's the visual element of reorganizing your arguments that makes it compelling. Presenting each point strategically and sequentially in the order they're likely to arise in the customer. For example, nobody's gonna think it's too expensive as the first objection before they even know what it does, how it works, or what it even costs. So thinking things through this way helps make sure you're not bombarding your reader with irrelevant information way too early in the process. Step four is where things start to get, at least in my opinion, pretty fun. Because it's here that you're going to overcome each objection by rewriting that objection as a benefit-driven subheading. Sounds totally confusing though, so let me explain what that means. Let's say that we've figured out the first few objections we want to overcome and have arranged them in this order. First, that sounds like too much work. Second, okay, but why don't I just do XYZ instead? Third, it's too expensive. And fourth, I'm too busy right now. Well, sticking with our original example of an offer that's claiming to be a revolutionary new system that's allowing business owners to generate 300 new leads for just $1 a day, that sounds like too much work objection turns into a subheading like effortlessly integrate our system into your business in less than a day. The okay, but why don't I just do XYZ instead objection turns into our system is proven to outperform XYZ by 200%. It's too expensive turns into invest a dollar, gain a fortune and I'm too busy right now turns into in the time it takes you to read this, you could be generating 300 new leads or too busy to succeed, not anymore. Step five then is to fill out the rest of the body copy using the CPPPB loop, which stands for claim, proof, 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 benefit. The first part claims are easy to make. You just say something true about your product or service that relates to the subheading. Proof is easier to find than ever before thanks to the internet and the ability to get your hands on research and articles as well as easily reach out to customers. And benefits too are straightforward enough to come up with. You just ask yourself what are the advantages and outcomes or how is the customer going to be better off afterwards thanks to your offer. Copyboarding is a powerful tool and a good step towards making sure you hit all of your persuasion points and don't go off on any irrelevant or confusing tangents that will most assuredly lose you sales. That said, it still misses answering a few important questions like where and when should you talk about guarantees, bring up pricing, bonuses, and the all important call to action. All important elements that are necessary to guide a reader persuasively through your sales copy and make sure that they end up at the end pumped, primed, ready to buy. So next, I'll walk you step-by-step step through a complete sales page template and blueprint that'll make writing high converting copy faster and easier than ever before. Imagine for a second that you woke up one morning and found yourself in the position of a high paid Hollywood director in charge of filming the latest and greatest blockbuster hit. But rather than planning things out and writing a screenplay and hiring actors and figuring out your camera's lighting and location, you decide instead to just grab your phone, a few of your more interesting friends to see if they want to be in your movie, and hit the streets ready to capture whatever comes your way. Cause you're a movie maker, darn it. A director, big dreams, and ain't nothing gonna stop you from making this thing a success. But as you and I both know, this story doesn't end well. And after stumbling around awkwardly for a few hours with nothing to show for it, it becomes painfully clear that you can't just wake up one day and make a masterpiece without any kind of planning at all. And yet I see this happen in the copywriting world all the time. Young, ambitious, and often very talented people who think that all they need is a little passion, uh, some confidence, dash of creativity, and they'll make millions of dollars every time they sit down at the computer to type something out. The better alternative then is to start with a framework, a template, a guide that can help work you from one step to the next. For short form copy, like a social media post, then any of the more common copywriting frameworks are gonna do just fine here. Though a personal favorite of mine, and one I still use pretty much every single day, is PAS, which stands for problem, where you start by first highlighting the thorn in their side or the pain in their neck, then agitate, where you show them how bad this problem really is and make them squirm just a little bit, then offer the solution where you swoop in with your offer to save the day. But for longer form copy, like a sales page, a sales letter, a webinar, even an email series, you're gonna need something a little more robust to make sure that you've got all of your bases covered. So here's the blueprint, the step-by-step -to top-to-bottom guide to constructing a sales page that sells. We'll start at the top with the headline. Your headline is your hook, where you grab the reader's attention with a bold statement or a question. Think of it like your opening act. And here are a few tips to help you write a good one. First, don't be afraid to be daring. Ask questions that make people stop and think, what's this all about? Next, be provocative. Well, too provocative now, you gotta keep it classy. Most of all, keep it clear. And third, always make sure to tap into emotions. Fear, joy, the thrill of finding free Wi-Fi, use them. 
Next comes the subheadline. The subheadline is your teaser, a supporting statement that adds intrigue or explains the headline. It's like the sidekick to your headline superhero and gives you a chance to add a bit more context and curiosity to the mix. Some tips here are to make sure that you clarify the message, spell it out, just not too much as that's what the rest of the copy is for. Also, create intrigue because who doesn't love a good mystery and make sure to speak their language. Your goal throughout your copywriting is to be conversational, not Shakespearean. After that comes the introduction. So here you wanna introduce the problem and why it's essential. What you're doing here is setting the stage for what's to come. So highlight the problem, but don't overdo it. Nobody likes a whiner. And if you can, then share a relatable story. Fact or fiction, you decide. Then offer some hope, which is where your offer comes in. And that's what this next part is about. In the offer section, you wanna show what's included. Break down the product or service, the features and benefits. Think of this as the main course in a fine dining experience. So highlight features and benefits, not just what it does, but why it matters. And focus on selling the solution, painting a pretty picture of success, emphasizing the outcome, the end result, and how the customer is going to be better off after they do business with you. Step five is the guarantee, the safety net, if you will. Guarantees alleviate risk, kind of like a warm blanket of reassurance. So be specific, what's guaranteed? Exactly. The more rock solid it is, the more trust you're going to build and the more your sales are going to increase. Next, testimonials. Use this section to showcase real customer feedback. It's social proof that your product or service is as awesome as you say it is. Also, make sure to keep it real and authentic. You don't wanna make these things up because it looks fake, sounds fake, and it will definitely come back to bite you. What works best is real stories, real results. And add some visuals if you can, because a picture's worth a thousand words, but a video testimonial is worth a million words. Next up, the bonuses section. Adding bonuses is like putting a cherry on top of your offer sundae highlighting any additional incentives and bonuses or exclusive content. The key here is to offer real value, no fake freebies. And create a sense of exclusivity because who doesn't wanna be part of the cool crowd? Also, no matter what you're selling, bonuses give you the opportunity to inject urgency into your offer. As the old saying goes, time waits for no sale. I think that's how it goes. Next up, lay out any pricing and purchasing options. And for the love of all things holy, try to make this as clear as possible while not leaving any important information off the page. Three things here to help you with this section. First, use transparent pricing. No one likes hidden costs. Next, if you can, then provide choices, like a buffet, but for your wallet. Third, highlight the value, why this is worth every single penny. A sale is made when the perceived value, what someone's going to get, is greater than the cost required, what someone's going to have to pay. Next up, FAQs. This is one of the most valuable sections of your copywriting as it gives you a chance to covertly address any other issues or problems or questions that you didn't have a chance to cover in the main copy. Think of this section like having a friendly chat with your reader where you get to solve their problems right here, right now. So use the FAQ section to anticipate and answer any other objections so you can stay one step ahead. Next up, the all important, maybe even most important CTA or call to action. The part of the copy where you're going to ask someone to do something and take action. Keep it clear, make it compelling, and tell them exactly what to do next. Nicely, of course. Then, the PS section, which serves as a friendly reminder to restate the offer or add a final thought. It's like a friendly wave goodbye, but with a twist. Reinforce the offer. They might have forgotten already, or they might have just scrolled down all the way to the bottom of the page to get the TLDR version. And restate why now is the best time to take action. Of course, as great and valuable as all of these things are, copywriting is just one piece of the overall sales and marketing puzzle. That's why to help you get even better results from everything you do from this day forward, I've linked up a video right here that's gonna give you access to some of my best marketing strategies, tips, tricks, and tactics. So make sure to tap or click that now, and I'll see you in there in just a second.